such a random way to start a video from a parking lot but uh, we are back to the Azores and uh, for some time uh, I actually came back a few days ago but so far it's been quite boring um, just like adult life stuff like car checks and university and paying what you have to pay for and the city hall so well, let me show you something because yesterday I picked up my university diploma after a year so I guess it's official now I have a degree and now I'm about to go for a birthday party lunch the other day I had like six hours because I brought the car for this car check and uh, I was in the town and I was walking around the town and it's just so beautiful like they already have all the Christmas decoration it's amazing I actually never saw it this pretty I really like the layout they did and there are just like a lot of this kind of like small houses like stalls you know with food and um, it's amazing the decorations so that's something we are going to do one day and we are going to check out like the Christmas lights also thank you so much for all the beautiful emails I received like over the past month but life been a bit hectic and I was working in South America and it was actually pretty fun I got back a few days ago um, so a little bit of a life update I read all the emails I did not have time to respond yet but I am going to respond I don't know it's just so nice to hear from everyone from all over the world basically the last time I was on the Azores was in June and uh, then I left because I went to Portugal mainland for work for some time then I went back to Slovakia from there I went to work to Morocco for some weeks and from Morocco I flew directly to to Peru and I was in the area like Peru Ecuador Bolivia for basically two months then I came back to Slovakia for two weeks and after that I went back to South America and then I did Peru, Bolivia, Chile, Brazil and Argentina so that was fun and then I returned home a few days ago I flew to Slovakia and then I stayed in Slovakia for a couple of days and after I came to the Azores anyway it seems like I will not go back to South America this year because in September I also started uh, university again and uh, I thought I will be able to manage like work and university in the same time but no it's not going to work so so I'm just taking a break from work for two months until the end of January until I'm done with all the exams and all the papers and after that I should fly to Central America and kind of do like the whole Central America thing and that's basically the very short version of what's been going on in life um, in the past like five or six months anyway I'm at this cute parking lot like it's one of my favorite beaches here on the Azores because when I moved here I used to spend a lot of time here so it's just like an emotional connection you know but it's also very near the place where I'm going for a birthday lunch and after we just figure something out but let me show you the place A fun fact, if anyone from here saw this new movie which came out on Netflix like last May, I think, um, I am about to pass this village called Rabotepeish. You've probably heard of this village because a big part of this series was happening here in this village.
that's like the center center of the village with the main square and the church and everything anyway what i was gonna say that even if you saw this series of that the whole village is you know under cocaine and it's super poor that's not true and even if you saw the movie there are some parts of the movie which are um, true like it's based on real life but still it's not a documentary so we could say that some part of the village are worse than the others and still it's not a documentary so it's just a series and um, it's only partially based on on a true story anyway i was passing this village because i i am going to santa barbara and i should be at school right now but um school is not the vibes today 